Hello, my gluten-free peeps! This is Kat, aka Kakibot, and this is my channel, which is all about travel and life around Edinburgh and Scotland. And today we are getting into a bit of a niche topic, which is eating gluten-free here in Edinburgh. Uh, I realize that this is not a topic for everyone. This might have a bit of a smaller audience, but uh, some of our latest videos were actually doing really, really well. And there's quite a lot of new subbies among you. So like if you're one of them, hello, <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm really, I'm, I'm just really happy that there's so many of you who are new and like my content. It really makes my day. Disclaimer, I am not gluten-free myself, so I had to do a whole bunch of research on it. I do understand that there's like different levels of uh, sort of like safety precautions you have to stick to when you're, you know, celiac or gluten allergy, or maybe if you uh, are following like a low FODMAP diet, something like that, where, you know, you're not gonna be as worried about some like tiny cross-contamination. But we're gonna start with three of the most safe places where the danger of cross-contamination is actually really, really low. I mean, I would say zero because they are places that do just specialize in gluten-free food. First of them specializes in cakes and breakfast foods and like brunchy things. So, you know, that's like right up my alley. I've never been and I was so excited that I got to visit Sugar Daddies for the first time for this video. They are in Marchmont, which, you know, might be far away if you like live where we live, but it might be really close if you're staying somewhere in the city center, especially in Old Town, you basically cross the meadows and you're there. And um, right now they don't have any sit-in space, but you can take away all their delicious cakes or like they, they seem to have like toasties and things like that on offer as well. Uh, and you can take it away and eat it in the meadows. Perfect. Friendly prices, coffee, all of that. And I think that like if you're visiting Edinburgh, it's really worth visiting Marchmont, the area where they are based because it's just a really cute neighborhood. It's kind of like a nice and clean residential neighborhood, which, you know, most people don't visit. So yeah, it's a nice opportunity to do that. Next up, if you don't want to cross the meadows, but you just want to stay on like the central side of the meadows, you should definitely visit Tupiniquim, which is a place that specializes in Brazilian crepes. I think they are open from Thursdays to Sundays. Uh, and like the opening time is kind of limited. It's not a dinner place. It's basically just like lunch place. I think they, op they open at 11 and maybe they close at like three or four. So, you know, keep that in mind. Maybe check on their Instagram because they tend to uh, keep people posted. For example, I went there yesterday, which was Friday, and they were supposed to be open, but they decided not to be open because the weather was not great. So yeah, I think that Tupiniquim is kind of a great choice for when you're just like walking around and you're hungry and maybe you can, you know, share one, but maybe, maybe not. Honestly, I would recommend everyone in your group should get one of their Brazilian crepes because they take quite a long time to be made because they're kind of made by like one by one and uh, their little sort of old police box uh, situation, I think doesn't really let them make more than one or two at a time. So the weight is substantial but the food is worth it it's really tasty and like i think that flavor wise you're gonna get something that you never had anywhere else um, honestly if you're not gluten free you need to go to tupiniquim anyway because their like peri peri chicken curry one is delicious i noticed that they have quite a lot of sweet crepes as well they now have a kranakan one so you can do like a brazilian scottish sort of combo fusion yes world food and the last place that's purely gluten-free is kind of like like no poop sherlock because it's called gluten-free edinburgh and it's in the haymarket area that's uh around the second biggest train station here in edinburgh uh if you find yourself in like west end it's basically like just around the corner from there and this is like a small cafe i would say it's more of a takeaway place so uh maybe if you're taking a train like if you're taking a train from haymarket to glasgow or something like that you should definitely give them a little visit they do have cakes they seem to have like pasta and a lot of like toasty situations and I think you can actually pick up some gluten-free bread just to use at home yourself uh, when I was there they were only kind of opening so um, I tried to get 
shots of as much of what they have to offer as possible but I think they actually have more than what I was able to shoot uh, anyway the staff there was super friendly a great place and I'm pretty sure that if you pop in there and ask them what tips they have for gluten-free folks I think that they will give you many many further tips you can play a little like a game of, of gluten-free telephone with them okay now for the second part of this video I have a couple of places that I wanted to recommend because they do gluten-free things but not on that like celiac safe level um, from what I've seen a lot of people who are celiacs do still go for that because like a lot of these places do actually have like a specific like kitchen area where they prepare the gluten-free stuff down in the doobly-doo i'm actually going to link you to a website which i found super helpful when i was researching this where people in the uk basically leave reviews for eateries you know around the the city and uh, you can basically look up any of these places that i'm going to mention and you're going to see that a lot of people mention that uh, you know like the, the staff was knowledgeable and they didn't get glutened first place is going to be union of genius which is a soup place and it's actually really close to to Pinequim. it's a uh, literally like a minute walk from Tupiniquim and it's a place that does kind of like three different kinds of soup every day which I think is like a really nice cheap light lunch option especially in the colder months which is like 10 of our 12 months so yeah I really recommend them a really nice kind of uh, small independent business to visit and support uh, they also do African cuckoo which is like a kind of a peanut based vegan gluten-free African frittata. I had that and I was also offered some gluten-free bread or gluten-free oat cakes to go with it and that obviously goes with the soup as well. So yeah, I think that they had four soups and three of them were gluten-free so that's a really nice choice. Next up, Loudons. There's two of them. There's one in Fountain Bridge and one just off Royal Mile, kind of in the new Waverly area. And these are both cafes that are very like allergy friendly. They do quite a lot of vegan stuff, gluten free stuff. We went there and we noticed that on the menu you have a lot of a uh, lot of bits that are already gluten free, but they also have a lot of bits that can be made gluten free. So uh, both the French toast that Simon had and the pancakes that I had can be done as gluten free and they were both delicious. Mm. I'm not like that. I'm still thinking about the French toast. It was very good. Also a nice selection of coffee and also um, unlike many cafes in Edinburgh Loudoun's is actually licensed so you can also get like a cocktail and they do seem to have like special cocktails every week or month mmm looked tasty perfect for brunch while I was on the Royal Mile area I had this like moment of genius when I thought well there's sort of fudge shops here and like fudge is basically just sugar and butter so surely fudge is gluten free and I popped into fudge house and I asked them about it and again the staff was super knowledgeable they like they they knew exactly what I needed to know uh, which is basically they do have like 20 different flavors out of which 17 are non gluteny and three have like gluten containing ingredients unfortunately they were saying that they are all prepared in like one kitchen so might not be the best for celiacs but if you're kind of in one of the lower levels of allergy then uh, i think that those fudge bits might still work really great for you i tried their chai one and it was delicious it tasted like a christmasy cookie dough next up this is kind of a local chain so there are a bunch of places that are owned by the vittoria group which is basically italian food like local italian food restaurants um, a lot of them are on leith walk but there are some in old town as well there's one vittoria's just kind of on top of victoria street and then on Victoria Street, you also have a place called Bertie's, which opened quite recently and it's a fish and chips place. And they do have gluten-free fish and chips. I mean, that honestly should be quite easy to make, but uh, they even say that uh, their chips, they do make the chips for the gluten-free fish and chips in like a separate fryer and everything. The only thing is some people were kind of bummed out that their gluten-free chips are made in oil, while their other chips are made in beef dripping. So, you know, but if you're vegan, then actually you can ask for the gluten-free chips and you will get vegan chips. Win! 
staying in this old town kind of tourist friendly area uh, I'm gonna mention Howie's. Howie's has two locations at least two that I know of two that I pass quite often one is on Victoria Street also and one is on Waterloo Place which is kind of just under um, Carlton Hill and both of those I was told are very gluten-free friendly and again the staff is apparently very knowledgeable and educated on this allergy so if you fancy something like more upmarket then uh, Howie's might be a great choice for you. I've also seen some people recommend Makar Smash Bar which uh, I've never been but it sounds so fun it's just a place that basically does a lot of potato based stuff <laughs> so as you can imagine like that uh, kind of lends itself to being gluten-free because potatoes so if you're gluten-free or if you're a hobbit you should definitely visit Makar Smash Bar. Anyway, let me just say before I finish here, so, so many places and especially cafes like the, you know, the nice local cafes will always have at least something for, for gluten free folks. Um, I see like our favorite local cafes do have so many nice gluten free cakes and bakes and all of that. Um, so I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I really hope that if you're like a full blown celiac that uh, my <laughs> short list of three places that should be completely safe for you was helpful. Uh, I am also gonna link all of the places where I got my research from down below. I think that that's gonna probably be even more helpful to you than this video but at least maybe this was a good starting point for you. Don't forget that I designed some Scottish themed merch. You can check it out in my Etsy shop which is also gonna be linked below conveniently and I'm actually running some sales right now so like some some stuff that uh, you find there is gonna be better prices than normal yay uh, also don't forget to visit me on Instagram under Kaki Bot and Kaki blog for my illustrations and my photos of my life here in Edinburgh let me know down in the comments below what brought you through this video if you're just a new subscriber and you are curious or if you have a food allergy and you're looking for a cool place in Edinburgh to eat or if you know another gluten-free friendly place that you really think people who come here to watch this video should know about then you know like you're gonna be super helpful if you go down in the comments below and tell me what your pro tip is yes let's all put our brains together and create a great list of gluten-free places here in Edinburgh yay okay and that's it I shall see you soon bye